Hello and welcome to Learning Strategies 25, Module 1. This one deals with decision making and goal setting. There will be a video of me often uh, in these modules because the goal is to try to make it like a classroom for you. So just how we would discuss things in a classroom. Um, hopefully this kind of gives you kind of some insight into some of the topics we are covering. So yeah, you'll unfortunately see this ugly mug uh, pop up a few times throughout this one. So. Uh, the book itself uh, that a lot of this unit is based on is by Stephanie K. Tommen. It is about decision making in young people. It's a great book. I highly recommend it. Kind of breaks down sometimes why we have troubles making some decisions, which is kind of funny because, you know, as she points out in the book, there's 35,000 uh, decisions usually made per person per day. So you've made 35,000 uh, choices, basically, uh, by the time you go to bed at night crazy, which is about one every two seconds. So the book does a great job of breaking down the idea of big decisions and you know why sometimes we get uh, paralysis by analysis, which is the idea that, you know, we just freeze because it's such a big monumental decision. And, you know, there's some people that are really capable of making those, you know, huge decisions and making them really quickly. And then there's other people like most of us where sometimes we can't decide what color shirt to wear today. And it's just right? So there's different types of ways of going through it. And it talks to the book and this module, we'll talk about, you know, learning from your mistakes, um, you know, learning from your successes as well. So if I decide to drive like this all the way around uh, my neighborhood, uh, eventually I'm going to get a speeding ticket and it'll be a big one. And I'll realize that, you know, bad idea, probably shouldn't do that again. So the next time I think about flooring it, that decision to decide to, you know, go Mach 3 down the street, probably a bad idea. And you'll see, you know, you'll start to look at decisions that people make throughout life. You'll see some like this one, famous. Yikes. Um, yeah, and uh, you kind of look at those and go, maybe I shouldn't um, lose my mind like that sometimes, right? And get angry. So it's just a way of kind of looking at your decision making and going through and analyzing it. You know, why did I make this decision? good ones, bad ones, and learning from them, positive and negatively. And that's really what this unit is about. Um, you also get the idea of intuition. What is intuition? Well, you know, we talk about in the classroom, we say spidey sense, right? Which is where you know something's going to happen. And where does that come from? You know, the idea of knowing that um, I think this could be a bad call or mm, my gut tells me. We say my gut tells me, right? Well, really what that's doing often when we have those feelings uh, is that we're looking at it and going past history or maybe we've uh, seen information that we can use to process to make those decisions and it's kind of feeding our brain and that's where we get the idea of that spidey sense so really it's not you know some kind of like i know it's fun to think of it being like some kind of you know super brain power but it's actually you know your intuition your gut feeling your spidey sense that's something that's developed from past experiences and it's also from you know, information that you've seen previously. And that's really what the intuition part comes from. Just like we would in the classroom, uh, we'll discuss some questions uh, and I'll often kind of give you a little bit in the video here on where you might want to have an answer similar. So what I would share with you if we were in the classroom right now would be my intuition when I see a kid walking into the classroom now in a conventional classroom and I would see them and they come in, maybe the head's down, just looking a little sad. Uh, I won't instantly be like, hey, what's wrong? Um, my intuition tells me that I should probably just hold off and maybe find a quiet moment. Why is that? Well, as I'm making that decision, split second, as they're coming into the class, because I once witnessed uh, one of my beloved coworkers ask a kid in the hallway that was walking by looking very similar, kind of down, uh, hey, did your dog die or something? And dead dog. So my intuition tells me when I see a kid walking in now, maybe not to be uh, so, you know, on the spot with them. Let's go chat later, see what's going on. That's just an example. So when you think of your uh, response, think about a time when you've made either your, like a gut feeling or an intuition. Why did you make that feeling? Was it purely just luck? Or did you actually bring something in information, background knowledge, uh, before making that decision? That'd be like a daily, <laughs> daily thing for me. Uh, and yes, 100% true story. It was amazing. It's sad, but also amazing. In conclusion, this unit uh, also mirrors what happened in module one 
uh, for Learning Strats 15 in that we talk about ownership. And if you remember correctly, it was this guy who, you know, we looked at and we talked about how, you know, taking ownership of it and the idea of control. And what I really hope you get out of this unit is kind of the, the fact that you are in control, that you make the decisions. And as you make those decisions, it kind of reflects uh, on the process of making them. So did you take your time? Did you think about it? Um, did you learn from them? Really? And you know what? You're young. You're allowed to make mistakes. So uh, hopefully not big ones, but also, you know, just a chance to kind of think about it. It's you kind of shape your world. It's for better or worse, you're in control. So sometimes I know, uh, you know, just from talking to kids and being a kid uh, myself a hundred years ago, uh, you sometimes feel like you're not really in control. You are 100% in control and take ownership of it, right? I'm making decisions that will impact positive and negatively every single day. Um, so yeah, you are in control, take ownership of it. And when you mess up, just like we talked about in module one, uh, learning strats 15, take ownership. Yeah, I messed up. I'll make a better decision next time. Okay. So go and answer the questions now, uh, that are on this Google form here for you. And I'll pop in again later on.